Well, the first video did some numbers, so I figured I should probably make part two today. In this one, we're going to create a basic camera movement system. This one will be pretty short and sweet, just like the last one. First off, add a camera 2D node as a child of the main node we created earlier. Make sure you don't forget to set current to true in the inspector. And now let's go ahead and give it a script. First off, let's give it some variables. The zoom speed will be the amount the zoom changes each time we scroll up or down with the mouse. The min and max zoom represent how close up or far away the camera can go. The drag sensitivity is a multiplier for how fast the screen will move when the player scrolls their mouse, and it's best to keep these as variables rather than constants so that the player can change them according to their preferences. We're only going to be making one function in the script, and it'll be by using the input function. This will be checked every time an input is made, so in order to scroll the screen we want to use this code. Every time the mouse moves while holding down middle mouse, the camera's position will change based on the movement of the mouse and multiplied by the drag sensitivity that we said earlier. The problem with this is that when we run it you might notice that it's actually sending our camera in the direction that the mouse goes. To do the opposite of this, change the position plus equals over to a position minus equals. Now it should work how we want. Next up, zoom. We'll go through this piece by piece. We'll add another if statement under our motion one, which will check if a mouse button is pressed. If it is, then we checked whether it was a scroll up or down. If it was up, we add to the zoom by the zoom speed that we set earlier. If down, we do the opposite. Now we don't want the player to be able to zoom in or out forever, so we'll use a clamp function afterwards to make sure that the zoom stays within the zoom min and zoom max values that we set earlier. Now we have one other problem. If the camera zooms really far in, then dragging the screen is super fast. If we're far out, it's way too slow. The way we can fix this is by just dividing the change in camera position by the zoom amount of the camera. This works because it's a larger amount the further we're zoomed in, so it changes by less. When we're zoomed really far out, the number is smaller, so it changes by more, because of the way division works. With that, we have pretty much everything we need for our game's camera, so that's it for this video. I also wanted to mention that I'll be trying to focus only on extremely important mechanics that pretty much any colony sim would need without going into advanced mechanics or worrying about game design. This way you can pick the parts that you need help with and make your game the way that you want to make it. Anyway, next up is going to be about making the data objects that we're going to need for the game, so see you next time.